It's been a long road. Talk Like a Pirate Day is tomorrow. Let's check out everything that's going to be in the new release. The first armor I'm going to show you today is probably the best that Crew Long has ever made. Yep, yeah, we're talking about an Evil Corp stick figure. It looks pretty decent. Uh, there's been an armor in the game, of course, like this before. It'd be cool to have another one. I mean, I don't even know if this is official. There's like, if you look at the art there, it looks like it's a little messy, but hey, who knows if that's a, probably just a joke. It's probably just a joke tweet, but I love Crew Long's joke tweets. They're always top notch. On a more serious note, if you saw the video I uploaded earlier this week about a free naval, something changed. Uh, shortly after, of course, I uploaded that video. They changed the wording on the design notes to make me look wrong, like always. Uh, they clarified that the AC version of the Naval Commander class has to be in your inventory. It cannot be the member version. Um, so it's no longer free for members, although it wasn't free for members in the first place because you have to pay money for a membership. It would have been a cool member perk though to get a Naval Commander this year, but that would devalue the Naval Commander being priced at 1.1 KC if you're giving it away for gold to members. Uh, and that would devalue that uh, Naval. Although I think a lot of members would still buy it for AC so they could store it in their bank if they, gave a, if they were given the choice between a gold and AC version. Maybe not, maybe I'm wrong about that. But, uh, the good news is you can still probably get it for 200 ACs if you buy the class and then sell it when you get the armor and get most of your ACs back. Although they could lock it, uh, making it not able to sell. So then you're kind of stuck with the class. So hopefully you want that class. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, this weekend. That would be really, really, um, really sad if they lock the class. Uh, that'd be kind of scummy. But yeah, that's about it. Just want to clear it up real quick. On a more positive note, they're actually going to give away one of the best looking sets that they're releasing for this Talk Like a Pirate Day for free. I mean, of course, that's in my opinion, but the Oathbreaker Pirate will be unlocked at 75%. That's right there, and that looks amazing. So if you're a non-paying free player, then you have that to look forward to, which looks amazing. Probably well worth the farm. And uh, by the way, I think the, yeah, the war has to hit 100% for this naval to be given up for free otherwise you can just buy it for 1100 acs like normal for this naval so keep that in mind as well it has to hit 100% before the 22nd of September uh, now they're splitting up the talk like a pirate day event into three different days starting tomorrow on the 15th uh, and then Friday or Tuesday the 19th uh, they're adding more equivalent gear and more farming rewards which is cool and then on September the 22nd that's when this thing, if we don't have 100%, this thing won't be available for free. Um, they're going to do the war boss and cutscene and more rewards. More in all caps. Okay, so I don't know what the more rewards will be. Hopefully it's some secret items that they haven't shown us yet. Uh, or And I don't know what the quibble, uh, the more quibble gear will be. I wonder if they're not going to release all the navels on this day. We'll have to figure out what happens there. If they release, I'm gonna, pretty sure they're going to release all the navels on this day. Uh, all the navels we know about. Ducky navel? Not confirmed. Being a paladin is a little too good for you. Uh, we have the dark pally navel. So you can have that. Uh, Queen Long made that. Very nice. I, I do have one pretty, uh, it's a pretty small little gripe about it. But this thing on the shoulder, it looks like it's made of metal, I'm not sure, and it's got a point that's like pointed right at your shoulder. What if you put your arm up in the air like this? You're gonna get, are you gonna get stabbed by your own armor? I, I just think that looks weird, I don't know. I feel like this armor would look a lot nicer if that wasn't there and it was just the shoulder. It's just my opinion, but uh, yeah, that's, that's that armor. It looks really nice and I'm definitely gonna get it. Um, on September 22nd, this armor set is coming out from x -Rose. Looks very nice. And uh, we'll see that in game on the 22nd. J6 with the um, what looks to be the boss design, <laughs> Bodie McBoat face. <laughs> oh, very nice. That would be a, a great name for a boss in Adventure Quest Worlds. Last bit of Talk Like a Pirate Day news Ghost working on animation. Looks like we have a trouble. I think that's what those are called, troubles, right? Uh, in the cutscene, you can see Captain Rhubarb behind him. Very nice. All right. Warlock is working on more character color customization for AKW Mobile this week, looking great. Now this isn't all the news we have about AKW Mobile, but you can see the color slider there. You can put the RGB color, or whatever that color code, the hex code, whatever it's called there. Color customized, you have I right there. And then I'm sure you can scroll down on that menu for the different 
uh, trim, primary, secondary, all that stuff. So it looks pretty good and it's running on, looks like a tablet, so very nice. Uh, also, we have more news on AKW Mobile, which if you're not aware, is the like 60 FPS, like you're not gonna lag or anything, uh, well, as long as your computer can run it, of course, but version of AQW. And Clown asks if uh, when the AQW release date will be, or estimate, uh, estimation on the server rewrite. Is it a myth? Arctic says it's complete. They're making sure the implementation is smooth because this upgrade is a one-way trip. And of course, he's referring to AQW Mobile and server rewrite. So this implies two things. Server rewrite and AQW Mobile are gonna release at the same time. And that's why the server rewrite has been delayed for so long. That would be my first thought. I don't know if that's true or not, but you would assume that it makes sense, right? To release the server rewrite and the mobile doing both those updates at the same time. So you don't have a lot of server downtime or anything when they, uh, so you have the server downtime at the same time. So you don't have to split up server downtime dates. This makes a lot of sense and I'm pretty hyped. It says it's complete. They're just working on uh, making it smooth. So they're just cleaning up the edges, you know, those rough edges, making them smooth. So can't wait to see that. That's actually really good news. All right, Elaine has been tweeting a lot about Mogaween for this year. <laughs> very, very AQW. Uh, Arctic Entertainment always does this. Their next big release isn't out yet, and they're talking about their next big release. You know, you gotta gotta move on to the next one, even though the current one isn't out yet. But Mogaween this year, we're probably gonna see Sephiria back in Mogaween. I mean, I think in the lore she's dead, but uh, she's a vampire, so they're kind of immortal well, not really but you, you know you know what i'm saying uh bido has been working on some new vampire armor to back that up uh we're getting of course a heavily hinted that we're getting a vampire class for the birthday class this year uh that's in the previous news video if you haven't seen that yet uh but yeah this is pretty cool looking armor and would be very good class armor for a vampire class there's a female version right there all right, the prices got announced for AQ3D. We do have a little bit more AQW news, so stick around. But um, I wanted to put this in here. It's the only AQ3D news we have. And uh, I don't know if you play AQ3D or not, but they're getting a talk like a pirate day. I saw they tweeted a few screenshots from what looks like a cutscene. I don't know if they're doing an event for it or just a shop in battle on. I would assume just a shop in battle on, but it'd be really cool to get an event also. It'd be a nice surprise. Um, here are the prices. Armor is 1100, which is the same as AQW. Weapons 250, which is the same as AQW. Shoulders, 500. Okay, this is the only item I think is overpriced. Uh, and uh, here's why because if you add up the gloves, boots, belt, and helmet, you can get all four of those for the price of the shoulders. I don't know if that really makes sense. Uh, uh, right here is the red armor with the shoulder unequipped. At least it looks like unequipped because that's the shoulder on that one. So, and I don't know. It really doesn't suit the armor, but um, there's a shoulder right there unequipped only devs can unequip uh, Shoulders or maybe if you made a new account and you never equip shoulders You could also do that But uh, then you're losing stats that you wouldn't be able to have by not having the shoulders equipped And there's the shoulders for the blue one of course they match the armor perfectly But cost 500 dragon crystals, which is kind of weird. Uh, I think all the other prices are fair though So that's the pricing and here are all the navels for talk like a pirate day in AQ3D now, in AQ3D, the navels are not going rare. So in AQW, they are. Like like normal, in AQW, the navels will go rare. But in AQ3D, they're coming back next year. So if you don't get them this year, if you don't have the money for them this year, you can always get them next year, next September. Now, here's the last thing I want to talk about in this news video. If you guys stuck to the end, thank you for watching. And uh, this is the sneak peek at the calendar or a calendar page I'm working on. So I don't know if every calendar is going to be Dage and Nolgath themed, but this could hint at a future Dage vs. Nolgath War version 2, or which would be kind of cool, uh, or maybe it's hinting at uh, Dage and Nolgath content for AQ3D, which would help AQ3D get the players from AQW that are fans of Dage and Nolgath. Uh, but it's just really cool. That's a calendar page, and it could, and usually the calendar hints at future content for Adventure Quest in that next year, as it normally does when they do the calendars. So, also, I have a suggestion uh, for the class, for the Chrono class, uh, like a Rick and Morty Back to the Future themed armor for the class would be very nice. I don't know if they would do that, but that'd be very cool <laughs> themed armor, like a scientist uh, thing or like a orange uh, 
what do you call those vests that'd be really cool design I, I don't know that's probably just a fan of me of those uh, shows but uh, that is all the news we have for today guys uh, comment down below what your favorite little bit of news is and for some reason the size of my thing is not the same size as the game there we go and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I think I'm most hyped for is the, this armor, because that armor looks amazing. Uh, the Pally Naval, which with the arm, Ooh, very nice. And uh, the brand new event, of course. Can't wait to see what they do with that event, quest line and all their secret wars and stuff that we haven't seen already. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great week and I'll be live streaming Talk Like a Pirate Day tomorrow on this channel. If you guys want to tune in for that, hopefully I'll see you there. Have a good one. Peace. What if you put your arm up in the air like this? You're gonna get are you gonna get stabbed by your own armor?